Okay, <clears throat> for this recipe you're going to need two um, 8 ounce packages of cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, um, raspberry jam, jelly preserves, whatever you want, sugar, and one egg. I don't have the egg pictured here because I forgot to take it out. But, um, at, yeah, and you need a pack of croissant rolls. Any brand, I guess, will do. So, um, let's get started. Okay, I've got my two packets of cream cheese already in here. I didn't want to waste time doing that on camera. The next thing I want to do is add about two-thirds of a cup of the granulated sugar and a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. And then for my egg, what I'm going to do is, can you see that? I'm going to break the egg into a bowl and I'm just going to make a mess. I'm just going to whip it up just a little bit because I don't want it to, you know, I want it to mix well in there. So, I'm going to make sure I just whip the egg good so that it's mixed. The yolk and the whites are mixed and then I will add that in. Mix this up. Okay, got this mixed up really well. Put the pastry on the pan, and what I did, I actually forgot to get um, wax paper or parchment paper um, because I kind of needed it for this step. But what I did was I spread butter on the pan and froze it so it kind of Hopefully we'll keep it from sticking really bad. This is, since this is a uh, croissant pastry, you're going to have to kind of put it together to make it what you need for the project. So I'm just going to unroll it and leave the two squares together. That doesn't seem to measure up. I want to fit everything together. And it's probably not going to fit on my little pan here, but just want to pinch the pastries together and make them all stick together. Hopefully this will work. This is actually the first time I'm making this. I saw, uh, I think a commercial where they made little pizzas out of this. And my kids like homemade dessert treats. So I thought I would try this with a dessert. And I think, I think I made too much of the cream cheese. But I have another package of this um, croissant rolls so I will probably make two of these so now I'm just going to take the cream cheese mixture and spread it all over this just getting it yeah you only need probably to you can half this recipe to make one of these But if you do like I did and you make too much and you don't want to use it right now, you can freeze it. Put it in a freezer safe container and freeze that up. This and just spread it out on there. Daisy and I really can't eat stuff like this. 
but I still enjoy cooking it for my boys and that, believe it or not I do not eat most of these sweet things that I make because it has such an adverse effect on my sugar that you know it's nice to be somebody who can enjoy something like this however I cannot <laughs> So, but it's, I like doing it for my kids, just knowing that they enjoy it, because I love to cook. I actually, it's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so let's get this mixture out of the way. The next thing we want to do is try <laughs> to roll this up. I'm going to take this and put it in the freezer so that it gets hard enough that it, you know, solid enough that we can do the next step. Alrighty y'all, this has chilled in the freezer for about 20-30 minutes and it's um, firm enough that I can slice it up. Maybe. <laughs> Like I said, this is my first time myself making this recipe. I just thought it would be a nice treat for my kids. It's a little difficult to roll out, so we're looking at some thin little treats here. But um, I've got my oven heating to 350 degrees. It doesn't work out the way you planned, but it still works out. And I'm not slicing these in any kind of even order either. That's just how I roll. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be turn out to be a disaster. If it does, you may never see the video. Probably should have froze them just a little longer. Just gonna kind of put them into a shape. If you freeze them longer, you probably they'll probably be a lot easier to work with. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and I'll see how long it takes to cook them. And I'll be back to show you the final uh, product, the finished Danish. I guess it's it's not really a Danish. I don't know what to call it. All right, y'all, <laughs> you can't laugh at me. Um, this is the end result of the first um, pastries that I made. And I did not take into account how much these things will flare up. But I do have another roll in there in which I didn't put raspberry because I think um, one of my sons doesn't care for raspberry. But um, I just did the cream cheese. I rolled it much tighter and kind of um, shaped it up a little bit. I'm going to leave it in the freezer until it is solid enough to cut neatly enough. And I'm going to come back with that one and show you that one too. These still are delicious. It's just a little messy. The kind of pastry you might eat with a fork. So anyway, I will come back and show you the second batch. Okay, <clears throat> this is my second batch of these. You can see how messy the first ones are. They are really good. I did take a taste. Um, but they're a little messy. These, I let them freeze really well. They, about an hour, I put them in the freezer, so they were good and firm and really easy to cut and really easy to put in place. I didn't put any raspberry in these because not all of my children like that raspberry jam. But um, I just took some um, granulated sugar and sprinkled on top of each one after I had them laid out on the pan. So I'm going to cook these, and then I'll come back and we'll see how these turn out. Second time's a charm. You don't get as much of a rise because they were pretty um, frozen, but they look a lot better and they're a lot easier to manage, um, you know, to eat. You wouldn't have to use a fork or a spoon. So 
this is the end result for this one. I may try another one again also and, and add the raspberry cream and see if I can do it the same way. Definitely the most important step, I think, is to let this get um, frozen enough that you can cut it. You don't want it frozen solid, but you want it um, firm enough so that you can cut them without having an ooey gooey mess to have to handle. So that's it. That's my little tutorial or I guess I kind of learned it as I went along. They they are good. I did try one of the raspberry ones. Uh, so everything is um, mixed right. It's just, you know, that step of letting them get really cold so you can slice them up and put them on the pan. Um, we'll see how my boys enjoy these when they get home. So peace, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.